my name is Julie and I'm a music major and also an orientation leader. What's up y'all, my name is Logan Leal and I'm an orientation leader. Hello everyone, my name is Juan Cesar Revuelta. I'm a political science journalism major and I'm also an orientation leader. I wanted to apply to be an orientation leader because I wanted to be the person that welcomed new students to campus. I saw the job description and I know that one of the biggest roles that you have there is to uh, speak in public and that's one of the things that I really needed to improve. So I took on that challenge and, and did it. I came to Sac State in 2020 and I had my orientation virtually. At first I was really discouraged by that, but I had a really amazing orientation leader that still made me really excited to go to Sac State. And I knew that I wanted to have that kind of influence over new students. Being the academic advisor for that day for students, kind of showing them what classes they already have fulfilled and what classes they still need to take for the next semester. Getting students connected with each other and their majors. You are there to basically initiate these relationships with incoming students. Um, this is their first time coming to campus, and so not only are you being a warm, welcoming representative of Sac State, you are there to serve as a guide for them. Let me go ahead and walk you through the typical day of what it's like to be an orientation leader. You'll basically come in from 7 in the morning till about 5 in the afternoon. And it's really great because right in the morning, new group of students every single day. You'll get to work with the same co-workers every day and it's really a great and fun experience. We would start our day with a welcome and then after that we would go into our morning presentation, get the students to connect with each other and then talk about graduation requirements, resources, stuff like that. After we would go to major advising, then go on a tour of the campus so that the students know where their classes are. And then at the end, we do take students to the computer lab to teach them uh, how to register for classes. And then also uh, kind of advising one-on-one -on -one, uh, in order for them to get the best schedule as possible. One is a lot of information that you do have to learn. Uh, thankfully, we do have a class that actually trains you throughout the semester for that. And the second one is it can definitely be long days. So we do start at 7 in the morning and then uh, end the day at 5 p.m. So definitely try to uh, keep the energy throughout the whole week is one of the biggest challenges. One challenge that I specifically deal with is my time management skills and I always want to be late to everything. So uh, this job has really gotten me to to stick to my schedules and to make sure that I'm at everything on time because it's not only important for me but it's also really important for my students to make making sure they're getting all the information that they need. The hardest thing is feeling like you have to know all the information. You don't. You're just here to guide students to the answer. First one being networking. You are going to meet so many people that are in specialized fields that you're interested in. You'll get to talk to campus departments, other students, parents, and these are ways you can make these connections. Uh, not only do, did I get to help students, but now when I choose the classes that I need for this semester, I was able to do it with a lot more ease. I got to know the campus really, really well. I know a lot about the resources that we do have to offer and also it's a really great way for me to get to know all of the academic requirements uh, so that I can graduate on time. When you think about applying for this position, uh, you do not necessarily have to be an extrovert. So for myself, I would say I'm definitely an introvert, but an extrovert when I need to be. So there's really no mold uh, that fits this. Uh, so it can be anybody as long as you're passionate about helping uh, new students and as long as you're passionate about being a resource for new students. I think you should apply because it is a really great way to meet other students. You get free lunch during orientation, which is super great because we have long days and you get hungry. And then also you get to network with your department. One of the things that you learn as an orientation leader is if there's an opportunity in front of you, you gotta take it. You gotta take it and you gotta run with it. So if you're thinking about applying to be an orientation leader, stop thinking, apply right now.